Yo, Elliot, I've cut back on my drinking and I'm not drinking beer anymore. I have switched over to hard kombucha. I'm just curious of your thoughts on it. I'm drinking a lot less because it does not taste the same as what I'm used to, and people don't usually have hard kombucha. I've gone anywhere from drinking six to 12 beers a night to two to three hard kombuchas. I know it's still weak of me to be drinking, but this tactic has been helping me the last few weeks. Is hard kombucha better for me than drinking beer? Is this going to make it harder to quit? It's a demon I've been struggling with, but I have seen success in it helping me cut back on the volume of alcohol I consume daily. I think you're on the right path. I wouldn't beat yourself up too much. Bro, I understand that alcoholism is a disease in, in that like when these substances get a grip on you, it, it's not an easy thing to break free from. I, I, I know what you're going through, right? For me, it was weed. I was hooked on weed for about five years between like the ages of 35 and 40. As weird as that makes sound, that's when I decided, eh, I'm gonna start smoking weed, right? And it wasn't as easy as, oh, you just gonna quit, right? And I had a whole bunch of like in-between times where I was like hitting those little vape, like, you know, nicotine vapes and stuff. I was like, I'm gonna quit smoking weed. I'm gonna try these other things. But then you gotta be careful, right? Because then I got hooked on smoking nicotine vapes, right? So I traded one demon for the other, saying to myself, well, at least I'm not high all the time, right? And then you have to fight with that one next, right? So you're basically doing it in levels. And I can understand that, right? Because to go cold turkey ain't easy, bro. Yeah, it's weak. Sometimes we have, sometimes we're weak. I'm weak. I'm weak sometimes. Uh, I can't always be strong, right? That's something I've discovered about life, that some things we just need help. Some things we just got to allow ourselves to just confront the fact that we're weak and we ask for help. That's when I started talking to the Lord and I asked God to help me. I was like, show me true repentance and absolve me of these sins and help me turn my life around. And boy, I tell you, my life turned around because I admitted that I was weak. That's when things started changing for me. My whole, my whole life began changing. I'd say probably the past two years, all kinds of things started changing. My whole perspective on life, my whole paradigm, the way I approach my work and, and people all changed because I was able to finally get over myself and say, damn, I'm weak. I'm weak. Yo, I'm a strong man, right? Everything's about strength for old Uncle E. Strong man, strength camp, strength coach. Weak. I got weak spots. And I think by recognizing and acknowledging our weakness and then allowing ourselves to ask for help, we gain a strength. There's a certain strength that's supernatural. Dare I say, a divine grace, right? This is why Jesus asks us to repent and believe in the kingdom, right? What does that mean to repent? Do you, this is a, I think repentance is one of the, one of the things that's lacking sorely in our society and keeps us trapped. Repentance literally means just acknowledge that you're not right. Just acknowledge that you're weak. Just acknowledge that you did the wrong thing. But we live in an age of pride, right? We just had pride month, which basically means, no, I'm gonna live sinful, degenerate life and I'm gonna be proud of it, right? It's the ultimate smack in God's face. But if we could just say, you know what? like. Damn, I, I know this is not right. I know I'm not supposed to be drinking 12 pack of beer at night, right? I'm weak and I need some help. And so what you're doing right here is it seems like you get a little help, right? You get a little bit of help from the kombucha, right? Hard kombucha, right? It gives you just that little bit of buzz without drinking too much beer, right? But at the same time, you're switching from one drug to the next and you're gonna have to confront the kombucha. So when you confront the kombucha, maybe you could step it down, step it down to maybe less kombuchas or maybe watered down kombucha or maybe not hard kombucha, right? If you're doing three kombuchas a day, have two hard, one not hard. And you see if you can start to wean yourself off, man. And then one day you can go cold turkey. One day you'll be like drinking the kombuchas and you'll say to yourself, why am I drinking this? Why am I even doing this? And you'll be done. So I think it's okay what you're doing. I think your attitude is right. The fact that you have um, acknowledged what you're doing and you're trying to do better and you're taking action in the right direction. Um, your question is kombucha better for me than drinking? I don't know and I don't think that's the point. I think the point is that you're moving in the right direction and 
it's okay that you're using these stepping stones and that you're going to have to confront the kombucha at some point too. Just know that at some point you just have to pull the plug. You'll pull the plug and you'll never look back. And it's going to happen. It's going to happen for you. So just keep doing what you're doing, man. Uh, you're on the right track. You're giving yourself time. You're being compassionate with yourself. But ultimately, by and by, you're going to win this battle against this demon of the bottle. I well, hope that helps, dude. Done. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from one of my most recent King Transformation classes with my students where, among other things, we get together about four or five hours a week and we speak on things as it relates to becoming kings in our lives and fitness, business, and with women. If that sounds like you and you want to join a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram and then DM me the word king, K-I-N-G, and then me and my team will get back to the details to see if you qualify. I really hope to see you at the next meeting. Done.